so <clears throat> we left off with the concept that if you take a whole bunch of positives and you put them all together and you multiply them by a negative, it's still a negative. So if there's one thing that's left out of the situation, okay, that could make it negative and destroy the premise, the first thing that the believers want to do is get that negative thing out of the picture so that it adds up to one big positive. So if they're trying to get rid of the one thing that they know can blow their premise, you know there's a lot of H-E-N-G holding back this concept that if it was entered into there, let's say this is the concept of I concept of intelligence entering into the, the premise, okay? But it requires some kind of extreme intelligence to fulfill the premise. Well, guess what? All the human emotional mental garbage and sideways logic that they can muster up with all their freaking brain power is going to push with all the force that it can of a million people if they have a million people with that much power to push back on this crap and keep this stuff out of their premise or whatever it is, okay? So anytime you have a belief system that's based upon not seeing every single plausible possible way that something could take place and they leave out a few, you know, possibilities that somebody comes up with, then you have the guardians of their truth blocking somebody else's idea of the truth coming into the picture to be analyzed by the whole group. You got a million people blocking this truth, okay? And you got, you got 10 million people over here and say, what about this truth? Why don't we try that one? And then they go, no, oh, that doesn't fit our idea of the premise, and we're going to be the we're the believers of a certain way of thinking, and we're the guardians of the truth, and we use our logic, and we prove it 100% that this is not true, and then we're going to teach this to all the children, so when they enter the system, they believe this also, and they don't see this, because we don't even bring this up. This is not, not even allowed to be talked about with anybody who comes into the system. They can't think about this, they can't even look at this, this can't be a possibility because it, we're the guardians of our truth, we're the believers, and we use all of our logic, and we know that this can't possibly be used as a way of looking at something. So what you have is a system based upon falsehoods because if any one plausible way of looking at something is not looked at then it's false. So this is the one of the most logical ways of looking at a you know, study of anything on the face of this earth. Okay? You know you want to block the thing that you don't want people to look at because it might disprove some other, you know, that all this other stuff here is true and we can prove it and our premise is right and we don't have any human emotional mental garbage because we're perfectly logical and we believe that our logic, even though it's sideways, is absolutely the truth. This has been going on for thousands and thousands of years in religion, science, philosophy, business, law, politics, nationalism, pop culture, marketing, and cults, and you know, the educational system, the entire educational system. The keepers of the truth are not going to allow any other truth into the possibility. 
somebody else's truth can't possibly be looked at in any kind of scientific or philosophical business, law, politics, nationalism. We can't look at this other way of looking at it because when we do that, the people who have the status and the position in the religion, science, philosophy, business, law, politics, nationalism, pop culture, marketing, all the people who have money or some reason why they don't want this new thing brought in, they've got to do everything they can to stop that particular way of looking at it. Like in nationalism, like, you know, you can look at a whole new thing. It's called, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up with a new, new thing yet. Fascism, you got communism, you got socialism, you got um, you know freedom and capitalism and all this stuff. Well, how about we have uh, how about we have capipolism? That makes sense. Capipolism. No, yeah, it's, it's a capitalism system where the people at the bottom have to deal with the people at the top have more say so in the system. Okay? And capitalism is capitalism where the corporations are not allowed to give money to religion, science, philosophy, they're not allowed to pay money for anything. Corporations, no pay to anything. You can't pay anybody anything. You can't pay lobbyists. You can't do anything. You can't talk to politicians and sway them. You can't do anything like that. Because money screws up any form of pure capitalism. No pay? Okay. Just a thought. So I'm going to give you some rules for how to stop this HMG from taking over your life. One of the things that you want to find out is how to discover your own truth. Not somebody else's truth, not somebody else's religion, not somebody else's anything. So to go back to the same thing, you know, the premise. It's true. Well, it's full of human, emotional, mental garbage. As long as we're on this earth, we're going to have this. So if you recognize human, emotional, mental garbage and the motivations that keep people from blocking other ways of thinking and stuff like that, you find that there's a tremendous limitation in all of these things, religion, science, philosophy, business, law, politics, national, pop culture, marketing, educational system, everything is blocked when you leave out plausibilities that might work. So, if you have a philosophy that believes that capitalism the way it is right now with runaway run, run greed and runaway nonsense and 